Now are we seeing a comp to a property or an yeah, actual we're gonna property? Go, we're going to go see the property. and then I'm Albert Bahin and Raj Batia are house hunting, but they're not looking to buy the house itself. Hold on, hold on, stop, no, no. They're looking to buy mortgages. This is a really, wow. This is possibly one of the nicest ones in the pool. They're perfect. Investors like Bahin and Batia may be the solution to the mortgage mess. They've started a company to buy up distressed home mortgages, those toxic assets that troubled banks are trying to unload, buying more than 50 since last December. Typically, you're paying, you know, percentage-wise, you know, what on the value of the house? 40 to 45 percent of the current value. Like this New Jersey home, the borrower still owes more than $400,000 on it. You think you can buy the mortgage for how much? Less than uh, 200. Less than 200. Buying at fire sale prices allows them to offer a break to struggling homeowners. Because you've been able to buy the mortgage for less, you can offer them a cheaper rate? Correct. Correct. A lot of times we, we go and offer them 30 to 40 percent below what they're used to paying right now. Bahin and Batia make their money when they take those stabilized mortgages and later sell them at a profit when the market improves. Ultimately, it's deals like this that'll help banks get rid of trillions of dollars of toxic assets that have poisoned the financial system. These are the toxic assets. This is what all of the fuss in uh, today's news is about. The Denver-based Allen Hill Company does detective work on tens of thousands of bad loans, determining their value for investors eager to buy them. But many banks are still reluctant to sell the loans at deep losses. They don't want to do that because they would have, in many cases, they'd be insolvent. In many others, they wouldn't be insolvent. They'd be in big trouble, and it'd be a very ugly headline. We're 440 on this. But Albert Bahin and Raj Batia are getting ready. We're staffing up to really see how to take advantage of this. And the economy will need more investors like them because the housing market won't find a bottom until the bank's toxic assets find a new home. Anthony Mason, CBS News, Hackensack, New Jersey.